Hello, my name is Vincent Fields, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Shadow of Over Mysteria. It's an old Capcom arcade game, um, inspired by D&D, and, and it's really, really fun. I I really like it. It's actually one of my favorite. It's actually one of my favorite arcade games that Capcom has ever made. It's graphics. It looks like it's a 64-bit game, and you get to choose between around six different classes in D&D. &D. So I'm choosing the mage today. And it's a game, the game starts off with a scenario where you have to go to the tower to bring peace, peace back to the land. And that's why the game's called Shadow Over Mysteria. It's a 2D beat em up that play that plays like Double Dragon and any other beat em up you've ever played before. It has a nice magic system that I actually really enjoy. But just basic combos like you would expect in a different um, regular game of game. You can actually see that this kind of, a game like this inspired more recent games like Castle Crashers because the there's actual there's an actual magic system in this game on like most other beat em up games, so you don't just press through the same button. You can also cast spells. And the spells can actually range through a bunch of different stuff, like the fireballs I showed earlier, and they can cause a lot of damage in the field. Like right here, this is just a basic attack, and that's fireball, and that that's how much damage. That's how crazy it is. So like right here, we're stopping gums in a bridge to make sure they, don't, they can't get past. And this is what I can name myself. I'm just going to call myself Wizard. And now I'll move on to stage two, which is a different scenario altogether. Oh, also, in this game, you score your points by killing enemies and also collecting gold. And you can use this gold later on in shots later in, later in the game. Also, another neat thing about this game is it actually has a combo system. So, if you, you know, depending on which direction you hold the attack, it does the different attack. And I can actually choose this spell to cast if I want to. Like, see, that's the Cloud Kill. That's that's actually inspired from another D and D spell. Oh, that's another mechanic in this game. You can actually get hit by track, by track, um, doors and stuff. It's insane. Like the spell, again, the spells I mentioned before, it's what makes this game unique and make, it makes it really fun and different compared to most of the beat maps at the time. Of time. <sighs> Actually, and one of the biggest thing, oh, the other fun thing about this game is that each character um, has their different perks and stuff. Wizards are actually the weakest. They don't have a lot of health and de um, defense, so they can't take much, um, much of the reading like other characters can in this game. And this is the first boss in the game. I'm not sure if I'm going to beat it this time.
And I think that's it. I just died.